Angela, you should have seen me at the paper airplane throwing contest. My throw was perfect. My release, just right. Wow, so you won then? Woohoo! Well, I got eighth place. Still top ten, though. Oh, okay. There was a horrible headwind, but I will not bore you with the details. <gasps> is that uh... what I think it is? <laughs> My powers, they're gone. Ah, he's back! That's right, ladies. I'm back. <sighs> Who's back? Who? Tanner Von Quads! Oh, that's great. Nobody talks! Ah, do a triple spin double bicep flex! <gasps> <gasps> that triple spin double bicep flex was for you. Thank you. Huh? Uh. <sighs> Mac Thunder and his crew have gone way too far this time. This dance park belongs to us. Dance battle, dance battle, dance battle. Let's dance battle for this park. Woohoo! <sighs> Tanner Von Quads is back. Get down to the uprising. Uh. Coming soon to a theater near you. So sick. <laughs> <sighs> so near you. Finally, finally, finally! <sighs> Get Down to the Uprising for like two years. You can tell that the plot is the exact same as the first Get Down movie, right? Uh, not true. In the first one, they were trying to save a dance park, but in this one, they have to let the dance park save them. Totally different. Some guy named Ruby is calling you. Who's Ruby? Ruby's my friend, and she's not a guy. I have friends who are girls, you know. Hello? Hey, it's me, Ruby. I know. Did you see it? The trailer? Yeah, the trailer. I mean, it was amazing. Unbelievable. Isn't Tanner Von Quads totally perfect? Ah, uh, like, unbelievably, perfectly perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's stalk him. <gasps> I'm already on it. <sighs> I'm in love. Uh. It appears you have an expression of sadness on your face. How am I supposed to compete with Tanner Von Quads? Oh, that? Tom, relax. He's not even real. It's just a movie. Just a movie? Angel, I mean, girls love him. And no one calls their friends when I walk into a room. Why don't you try to be the perfect guy? Just like Tanner. Thanks, Ginger. I wish there was a way to do that, but there isn't. Haven't you ever heard of Ideal Guy Headquarters? Ideal Guy Headquarters. It's an exclusive website with all the stuff you need to know to become a perfect guy. Ooh, did you hear that? Maybe there's someone that you ought to impress. All the answers to your problems are right here in my hand. This website could make me the perfect guy? Tom, the only things that are perfect are numbers, and you don't look like a 6, a 28, a 496, or any other perfect number to me. Ben, I don't know what girls are looking for, but I'm pretty sure it's not whatever math thing you just said. Ah! The right sunglasses for any time of day. There are different kinds of glasses for different times of days? I didn't know this. 10 new push-ups you've never seen before. You know, sometimes I feel like they don't want us to know about all the push-ups. How to do everything better and faster. Okay, this is awesome. Pretty soon, Angela is gonna love you even more than she loves that tatter guy. What? Angela? Th that, that is not why I'm gonna read this. Tom, we know that's why you're- uh, no, uh, 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 uh. That's not why. Hey, man. Oh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Welcome to Ideal Guy Headquarters. Click here to order your Perfect Guy Starter Kit. Begin your new life as an irresistible dude. Oh, you're gonna be way cooler than that tatter guy. I will be cooler than Tanner. And my starter kit will be here tomorrow. <laughs> ah! I mean, it's here. <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean, Whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Spray. Ah. 
What do you think? Is it working? <laughs> Tom, you put on a scarf, a bracelet, and cologne. How could that possibly change how people react to you? How about now? Huh? Whoa. What is that smell? Uh -huh. It's so handsome. Mm. Hey, cool glasses. <laughs> I know. Well, Angela, you may be interested to know that it just so happens that... <gasps> ah. No way! Ruby just got us <clears throat> tickets to the premiere of Get Down to the Uprising! Ooh la la! Premiere is French for you get to see the movie before anyone else. I know because I used to live in French. You should sit in the front row so the movie hits your eyes first. Yes, Tanner, Vaughn, Quads will be right in front of us on the big screen. Well, right, yeah, but it's not like he'll actually be there. Whereas right now, in front of you, there is a guy who... What? Tanner will be uh. there? And he's signing autographs! Oh, come on. I mean, totally cool. Totally cool. <sighs> the starter kit was a good start, but it's not enough. I'll have to get another kit or do something. Or else you think you'll lose Angela forever. No, that is not what I said. This is not why I'm doing this. <laughs> Hank, log on to Ideal Guy headquarters. It's time to get perfecter. The perfect guy works out every day. And drinks giant protein shakes when he's done. He should never, ever be without his signature shades. A perfect guy is like a shapeshifter. When necessary, he can assume the perfect body. Totally. And of course, every perfect guy has an arsenal of dance moves, ready for use at any moment. So hot. You guys want anything else? Or what? I mean, is there anything else I could get you? I mean, anything else at all? Everything's perfect, Rhonda. <laughs> Gee, Tays. I mean, I don't usually say things like this, but, um, you smell real good. I smell ideal. <laughs> you know what? Desserts on me today. Did you see that? Free dessert! I mean, if this works on Rhonda, this will work on anyone. Definitely. I'll be at that premiere tomorrow, and I'll show Tanner Von Quads that he is no longer the most perfect guy around. I am. I see him! Oh, me too, me too. He is glowing with handsomeness. I think we just made eye contact! No way! Are you guys, like, in love now? Yeah, I think so. You might not know me, but I know you. Oh, hey, man. Nice shirt. TVQ. Stay beautiful. I'll do the same. Hey, man. You've been the most perfect guy around for a long time. But I have news for you. There's a new ladies' man in town, and you are looking at him because he's talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking about me, but I'm talking to you. Listen, I'm just doing my thing, man. Oh, yeah? Well, now, I'm doing my thing. Hank, the music. Where's the music, Hank? TVQ 5000? Tanner Von Quads was a robot? Whoa, plot twist. I'm confused and heartbroken. I'm just confused. He's broken. Broken forever. <laughs> Robos. Hey, that's the guy that broke Tanner Von Quads. Get him! Yeah, I didn't know. The beat chased by an angry mob. The perfect guy always uses a helmet. Thanks. You sure were fast?
fast, but those girls were faster. Then they caught you and started punching you and kicking you. Anyway, you were there. <laughs> Sounds like you are perfect out there. Well, I'm sorry I ruined your night and broke someone that you loved very much. Tom, I didn't really love Tanner Von Quads. I love the characters he played in his movies. The handsome, chiseled, manly, and me. <laughs> well, at least now we know that no real person could actually be as perfect as Tanner Von Quads. I wish I knew that before I bought all these sunglasses. Why don't you donate them to this charity for economically challenged cool guys? Charity is good, and Tom, I do think you're perfect. <gasps> the most perfect friend in the world! <sighs> Side hug, come here, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna paint giant flames on my rocket because one time I had shoes with flames on them and I was the best runner at school that day. Yeah, decorative flames are cool, I guess. But the real secret to winning is fins. Plenty of extra fins. Fins? Are you sure? Pretty sure. At least that's what I always notice whenever I look at my first place rocket, or my other first place rocket, or my dad's first place rocket, or my grandfather's first place rocket. Wow! Hank, can you help me win the wooden rocket blast off? Well, yes, Ginger, I suppose I could help you win. But remember, winning the blast off takes teamwork, expensive power tools, and total focus if you want to. <gasps> what is that? All or nothing. If you can eat it all, it's free. If you can't, it's 500 bucks. Uh huh, I heard free Sunday. I'll take it. Are you sure? Rhonda, please. I've never had trouble finishing a dessert in my life. It's your stomach ache. <laughs> Attention, everyone. We got a challenger here for the all or nothing. <laughs> Challenge? Yeah, right. This'll be easy peasy, icy creamsy. Whoa! What kind of ice cream is this? It's made from a special super condensed milk. <laughs> That's rich. All right, I'm full. Thank you for dining with us today. Your total will be, uh, 500 bucks. Uh, 500? Uh, here's the thing. I don't have that much money with me or in the bank. Then here's the thing. You're the new dishwasher. Take your sponge, <laughs> name it, love it, and learn how to use it. Wait, did I just get a job? I don't want a job. How did I get a job? The last dishwasher quit, and this is way easier than hiring a replacement. But what about building my rocket? We'll start as soon as I get home from my job which I'm just starting, which I'm not sure how I got. Oh, that's sweet. Now get to work! Wow, Ginger, that's a really <laughs> cool design. Um, but isn't that too many fins? Or maybe it's not enough fins. I don't know. When's Hank getting home? That's weird. He should have been home by now. <laughs> huh. Um, hmm. Hmm. With Hank on and his spot available, it's actually possible to select a TV program. Hmm. I can't even remember the last time I actually held the remote control. Well, turn it on. Bongo and McGillicuddy, I'm not watching this stupid show. Come on, Ben, give it a chance. It's funny. Oh, sure, why not? It'll be interesting to study the lowbrow comedy that amuses Hank. Okay, McGillicuddy. Today's the day we finally arrest those no-good banana thieves. <laughs> no, you can't eat the evidence. <laughs> um, oh, Cuddy. <laughs> An orangutan working on a banana crime. The comedy possibilities are infinite. That practically writes itself. Hello, everybody. Hank! Finally! Look at my design! Yeah, that's great. Hank! Look! Look! Hank, you're not looking! Hank, have you been washing dishes this whole time? Yeah, look, my fingers are all pruty. I'm exhausted. <sighs> oh, oh. Hey. Okay, good enough. Get up! We have to make my rocket! 
Oh, we will. Just give me one second to... Hank! <sighs> Wake up! Oh. Hank! <sighs> Rhonda, I think I'll head home early today, okay? Oh, no, you won't. Oh, I have to. I promised Ginger I'd help him build a rocket. The dishwasher can't leave until all the dishes are washed. But I did wash all the... Back to work! Oh. Why am I upset? Because a giant rubber mallet is not authorized police equipment. Oh, yeah. Cuddy, you are a piece of work. <laughs> Bongo. Tom, I'm laughing because their working relationship is like a comedic exaggeration of ours. Yeah, I know. I'm totally Cuddy, and you're totally Bongo. Totally! <laughs> okay, I admit it. I had the wrong idea about this show. It's fun, relatable, quality entertainment. Hey, Hank, have you seen this episode of Bongo and Cuddy with a giant rubber mallet? <sighs> Can I have one minute to myself before you bombard me with a million questions? Is that so much to ask? Oh, yeah. Uh, whatever you want, Hank. Hmm? <gasps> oh, look at this place. What did you guys even do all day? You know, this and that. <sighs> Watch some TV, took a nap. Watch some more TV. <laughs> Took a longer nap. Well, it must be nice. I wash dishes all day, and now I come home and I get to wash more dishes. It's like three dishes. I'll do it. No, you'll do it wrong, and then I'll need to fix it. Just forget it. <laughs> all right. Hey! <gasps> the wooden rocket blast off is tomorrow. We have to make a rocket now. <sighs> Rockets don't get the dishes clean, Ginger. All you ever do is wash dishes. That's it. Go to your room. You've got it too easy. That's your problem. I don't even live here. Uh, no back talk. Uh, okay, let's go, Ginger. Hank's had a very, very long day. Look at what you're doing to this house. Huh? You're not the man I decided to occasionally hang out with. Oh. I've never seen Hank so grumpy. If you say so, Tom. <laughs> hmm. Hank, we need to talk. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm gonna have to reschedge. I have these quarterly dish soap reports to fill out by tomorrow. No, we need to talk now. <sighs> oh, here we go. Since you took this job, it's like you don't have any time to spend with the people you care about, like us. Listen, I am under enough pressure at work without you two piling on. Hank, there's always gonna be dishes that need cleaning, but there's never gonna be another chance to help Ginger win the wooden rocket blast off. Maybe you're right. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh, it's work. I gotta take this. Yep, go for Hank. Well, the dishes aren't gonna dry themselves. You know what? Get the towels on the phone and tell them it is my way or the highway. <sighs> what are we gonna do? This job is really bad for Hank. Yeah, and it's upset the delicate balance of our workplace. So, how can we get him to remember what's really important? Hmm... I think I have an idea. Blast off. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, huh? uh, I think you missed a spot. Uh, hey, Tom, let me get you a bed. You table for one? No, we're just gonna get a quick bite, then give Ginger's rocket a test launch. You know, before we go to the big blast off. The rocket's built, huh? Yeah. Come on, I'll show it to you. Hey, Ginger, you built a rocket all by yourself? Let's see it. <gasps> She helped me. What do you think? It's not a... It's more of a... It's not that it's... It's just a... a how do I say this? What? Spit it out. Well, first of all, it's very pink. Pink is the slowest color in the rainbow. Everybody knows that. And, and look at the base. What about it? Is there some kind of fin shortage that I'm not aware of? Oh, it needs fins? Well, yes, it needs fins. Can you fix it, Hank? Well, I don't know, but we have to try something. Hey! Get over here! This totally solidified oatmeal is not going to scrape itself from this bowl! Oh, I'm so...
sorry, Ginger. If I don't clean that oatmeal, I'll have to soak it overnight. Hmm? This is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy, where Bongo got a second job selling pretzels at the mall. Then, when McGillicuddy needed help preparing for the dune buggy race... Bongo realized it doesn't matter how many mall pretzels you sell if you don't have time to race a dune buggy with your best friend. <gasps> what am I doing here? You're taking these dishes to the kitchen. Ugh. Rhonda, there are some things in life that are more important than clean dishes. Yeah, almost everything is more important than clean dishes. Now hurry up and clean these dishes. Sorry, Rhonda. Ginger and I are going to the wooden rocket blast off. What are you saying? I'm saying I quit. Yay, everyone! <laughs> we have some unfinished business. Meaning it needs way more fins. <laughs> it okay. Here's my apron and my sponge. Never liked you anyway. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go! Let's focus on winning the blast off. Mm, this looks interesting. No more distractions. <gasps> what is that? I'll bet one tortellini and one teaspoon to start. Mm-mm. I think Tom's kettle is too spicy for me. I am out. Ooh, Tom's on a roll. I'm out too. Oh, are you playing noodle spoons? I want to play! I want to play! Sorry, Ginger. You're too young for this game. <gasps> ben raises it two spoons? You have two burnt noodles showing, Tom. To win, you need at least a wild fettuccine in your kettle. The odds of that are 300 to 1. <laughs> I'm not playing the odds. I'm playing you. <gasps> Looks like Ben's going all in, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't do it! Ben folds! Noodle spoons going to Tom. Uh, mm, mm, uh. <laughs> mm, show me what you had, Tom. I have to know. Eh, you were right. I was bluffing. Ah! <gasps> I knew it! I didn't know it. The Lord of the Land, the Land! Silence! I warned you once about being loud. Nothing. I warned you twice. Still nothing. Do you know what happens now? A uh, third time's the charm, right? You're all evicted. Ah! Ah! I beg of thee, do not cast us from your lads, your landlordship. We were playing Noodle Spoons and we got carried away. We're sorry. Mmm, Noodle Spoons. What a novel game. I've never heard of it. Never played Noodle Spoons? Oh, man, sit down. It looks fun, is it fun? You gotta let me show you how fun this is. Okay, boil me in. Well, the landlord's triple linguine beats Tom's huh? pair of ramen noodles. Ha <laughs> ha, you won. Again. <sighs> can't believe it. This is a fun game. Teaching me this fun game. How about we say you no longer evicted? Yeah! <laughs> Everyone friends again. Thank thee, your landlordship. Look at all these noodles and these spoons. Too bad we weren't playing for something more valuable, eh? We could do that. If you want. Oh? No, I don't. What do you suggest? How about this? If I win this next game, we get... free rent for one month. Huh? Okay. And if I win, I get to be CEO of your company. For a month. <gasps> what? All I heard was okay. Let's do this. Oh, goodness. Molly me. I should have quit when I had the chance. I never even heard of this. Gentlemen, your final noodle. Okay, Tom, show us your noodles. Mm. Whoa, pretty impressive. Tom has a full pot. <laughs> Linguine yeah. and macaroni on the shelf. Gonna be tough to beat that. All the same color, all the same size. No one wants that, right? What? No. No, you have a 
Let's do the flush. Spin the flush. You win. I win this game. No. Ah, that means I am your CEO for a month. Uh. <laughs> Whip them uh. and read it. No, 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 no. This is not happening. We're playing again. Don't do this, Tom. Bed's right. You should quit. You're not on a roll anymore. It's up to the players to decide if they want to quit, and I don't. One more game. Sure, this is fun, yeah. But I picked the bet. If you win, everything is back to normal. But if I win, I get to be the CEO of Tom and Ben Enterprises forever. What? <gasps> yeah, whatever. It's a deal. It's a deal, Tom! What do you think? Silence! Hmm. A lasagna straight! See, Ben? I told you I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and the landlord... ...also has a lasagna straight. But wait, it's gluten-free! The landlord wins! Oh, come on! Oh. oh, and you know what that means. Landlord is now your new boss. New boss, new boss, 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 boss. <laughs> we can and read it. Company meeting outside, five minutes. Do not be late. Bad, talk about beginner's luck. Beginner? Yeah, right. I am no beginner. No, sir, dippy dandy. I wrote the book on how to be a noodle spoon hustler. Sued to be a major motion picture. Hey, can I borrow that? <laughs> <sighs> the landlord wrote the book on noodle spoons. I wonder why he never said anything. Because he was hustling you. So obvious. <gasps> These are for cleaning, Mr. Genius. Because we're a cleaning company now. <laughs> Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't actually work for the company, so uh, uh, good luck with the um, everything. Bye. Lord Dart! Duck and cover! Ah! I found my dad's old Lord Dart! Oh. Come on down so we can play with them! Cool! I'll be right down! Sorry, Ginger. We can't play lawn darts until we finish all our cleaning assignments. <laughs> nope. What took so long? We need a break. Oh, yeah? You know what I need? I need workers who don't complain <sighs> about a little hard work. <gasps> what have you done with my computer? Oh, I remove all this uh, useless clutter. Useless clutter? I see it! It's in there! Get me back my computer now! You will get one hour of computer time. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? I want my friends back, which means you have to quit as CEO of Tom and Ben Enterprises now! Oh, I see. Tell you what, landlord has better idea. <laughs> <laughs> what the hey? You don't know me that well, so I'll just tell you. When I'm bored, I get into mischief. And as long as you're CEO, I'm going to be very bored. Okay, small annoying one, let's work something out. I will give you a chance to take my place as CEO if you can win it from me. Fine, how about a game of Flappy Tom? What, you think I was born in this morning? Come on now. You are Flappy Tom expert, pick another game. All right, what about noodle spoons? Noodle spoons? Let's boil the kettle. What is going on here? Noodle spoons. One game only. If the landlord wins, Ginger can never step foot in this building again. But if Ginger wins, then... Then I am the new CEO of Tom and Ben Enterprise.
prizes. Yeah, that. Ginger as CEO? That would be even worse! No matter who wins, we lose! Ginger, what are you thinking? Even Tom couldn't beat the landlord at Noodle Spoons. Don't worry, Hank. I never enter a Noodle Spoons battle unless I know the outcome. Oh, a line from my book. <laughs> so you know how to read, huh? <laughs> Time to say goodbye to this garage forever. <laughs> Okay, here is the key to my protection cage. If you thought that landlord was tough, wait until you see me. <laughs> oh, no. Now what? <clears throat> okay, for my first order, I command you to make everything back to how it was before the landlord hustled Tom. Uh, uh, huh? But you weren't our boss back then. Wait, are you giving us our company back? You guys. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger! Sorry, not sorry! Prepare to feel the wrath of Scrimshaw, the small dragon. For my next move, I play <gasps> the Sword of Pride! Ha! Eh, you must have forgotten that I, Avnar the Warrior Dwarf. Possess huh? as Dorian diamond armor! <laughs> Is anyone else completely lost? Let me check the basements and Banshee's official guide. As your foolish attack fails, I use my agility points to skip your turn. Agility points? What are those? Hey, give me the book, quick! My victory is assured. No, it isn't! Says here, I can cast rebuking light to thwart your attack. Mm, do you mean this <gasps> rebuking light? Wait, what just happened? I don't know. Oh, uh, ben wins? How could I lose? <gasps> uh -oh. You'll pay for this, Ginger! It wasn't me. It was Scrimshaw. If I had a dollar for every time Ginger ruined something, I'd have... Well, let's see. If we let X equal the number of things ruined per week. Hi, and can we have... I help you? Oh, yes. I just... <laughs> Hello, anybody in there? Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I was wondering if you could help me fix my broken heart. It Phone! Oh, of course I can. That's my job. I am a grape geek. My name is Xenon. Like the element! What a grape name! Grape name? Oh, sorry. Just because we're in the grape store. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's good! You're funny. <laughs> would you say I'm very funny? Oh, I would! I would say that. Calm down. No need to go bananas! <laughs> Ah, uh, you come to work thinking it's gonna be just another day, then all of a sudden you're at a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> Does any of this make sense to you? Nope, I thought we were just looking at the pictures. Ah, I'm in love! Hey, that's great! I hope it's not you-know-who again. <laughs> no, not the moon again. It's a girl. By girl, do you mean planet Venus? <laughs> <laughs> no, a real person. Look, 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 look. Her name's Sinan, and she works at the grape store. Whoa, she gave you her number? Ben, it sounds like this girl wants you to ask her out. Out? Out where? On a date. With whom? With you. <laughs> oh, no! What should I do? 
do? Should I call? Should I do it in person? Should I develop an app to do it? Easy, Harry Styles. Let's just run through some scenarios and see what you've got. <laughs> All right, Ben, just pretend you're asking Zeno. Xenon. Oh, sorry, uh, out on a date. Now, just do your thing and we'll give you notes. Just do my thing, got it. <clears throat> Hi, Xenon, would you like to go out with me sometime? And we're gonna stop you right there. Why, what did I do wrong? You can't just walk right up and ask her out. You're being too bold. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> what, no, don't listen to him, Ben. Uh, you're not being bold enough. Just listen to your heart and tell her how you feel. Uh -huh. He can't just tell her how he feels. Then she'd know exactly how he feels. Uh -huh. feel? Are you kidding me? He has to. Oh, really? How do you expect anything to ever happen if he doesn't romance her? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Whoa, 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 what is the rush? Huh? I don't see why he can't just play it cool. Uh, okay. Start out as friends and maybe make a move uh -huh. in a few years or so. You're hopeless, Tom. Huh? Xenon has probably been waiting on Ben <sighs> to make a move forever. She has. Uh -huh. Well, maybe he's afraid to risk their friendship, uh -huh. and he just needs some sort of sign from her. Uh, hello? She's been giving him nothing but signs. He needs to take it slow. He needs to be romantic. Slow. Be romantic. Slow. Romantic. Slow. Uh -huh. Be romantic. Take it slow. Uh -huh. Be romantic. Take it. Oh, we're here. There she is. Hey, hi! Oh, dear. Well, every time. I, I just need to find my glasses now. I can't... Ah, here we are. Xenon, it's good to see you. Ben, Cherry, nice of you to stop by. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You're so wonderfully clever and, and smart, and but also clever. And you're hilarious. Did I say that? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean... What's up, dude? Uh, not much, D dude. No, huh? bigger, bolder. <clears throat> People of the Grape Store, your attention, please. I'd like to make a grand gesture of romance. Oh, no. Ben, why are you acting so weird? See, should have listened to me. See, should have listened to me. And who are they? They're instructing me on romance and playing it cool and... I've never met them in my life. I gotta go! Okay, bye! Keep it going! Oh. oh, Ben, wait! Yeah, Ben, wait up! So my phone does this weird thing where I don't get any text messages from Angela. Is that like a technical thing, uh, or...? Have you tried turning it off and then turning it on again? Ah. Ben, I'm sorry we gave you such bad advice. <sighs> It'll be okay. We just need to practice some more, and then you can show her the real Ben. Ben, from now on, I will only respond to Glavnar the Warrior Dwarf. Cold and heartless. Oh, no. Ben, I... Glavnar! Right, of course, Glavnar. Listen, what do you say we get some ice cream to cheer you up? I know not of this ice cream you speak of, peasant. Besides, warrior dwarves are lactose intolerant. But... Mm, what? <sighs> Betrayed and embarrassed, Glavnar wanders the dark forest of dim shadows, destined to live alone. <gasps> Ma, I got a delivery. <laughs> hey, what's that? Oh, wow, look! Special delivery for Glavnar the warrior dwarf. Mm -hmm. Glavnar isn't home. <sighs> oh. Brave Glavnar, you are invited to a Basements and Banshees secret tournament for the best players in the <laughs> universe. Tomorrow night. Well. Password. <laughs> hey, if you're not going, can I fill in for you? I'd make a great Glavnar. Never! I'm not letting some amateur play Glavnar and ruin my reputation. So you'll go? 65 interest, 45 certainty. I have to roll for it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Too easy. Half word. <clears throat> Hobgoblin! Welcome to the quest, Glavnar, warrior dwarf. Meet your opponents. I am Clink, the Jade Bandit. And I am Artemis, the Woodland Archer. I am Mortimer, the Wizard King! <laughs> There is one challenger who has yet to arrive. Their identity, a mystery. Hello? Sorry I'm 
wait, I put the password in my pants and then I washed them and now the password is all smudged. It looks like hamburgers though. Is it hamburgers? I really hope it's hamburgers. Eh, close enough. Xenon, what are you doing here? Xenon? Who's Xenon? I am Gorp, the Ogre Queen. Oh, Gorp. Let the quest begin. Oh. Mortimer, with this banishing rod, I cast ye out to the stony mountains of hardened rock. I am felled. And down goes the Wizard King. <laughs> Not so fast, Clink. You've been captured by the King's Guard. Enjoy the inside of your prison now. No! This cannot be. Clink the Jade Bandit, you are defeated. Looks like it's just the three of us now. Make that two. I cast the expunge card on you, sleeping Artemis. And now he never even existed. Get him out, get him out. <laughs> Good one, Glav. <laughs> oh, well played, Glavnar. <laughs> Not so fast. Prepare to be crushed into dust, for I wield the Warhammer of Peace! <laughs> I dodge your blow and freeze you with encasement ice! I hope you're not too chilly, my ogre queen. Oh, a move most smooth. Or it would be if I wasn't protected by the flaming knight of the glacier realm! Listen, Gladnar, Gorp, it's pretty late. What do you say we pause the game and you two can pick it up another time? Hmm. Gorp, would you agree to a truce until, say, Friday night? No, I'd like that, Glavnar. <laughs> <laughs> so it is desired, so it shall be written. Yeah, let's write it down. What should we say, eight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great, it's a date then. Let's all get out of here. Yes! Oh, we pulled it off! Yeah. And it's all because Ben followed my advice and played it cool. Wait, wait, wait. What game did you see? Because every move Ben made was totally a romantic expression of his what? feelings. Tom and Angela stopped huh? talking about stupid dating stuff and took Ginger to the diner for a milkshake. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that, Ginger. Oh, okay. Well, with no milkshake, Ginger decided to announce... Tom's feelings for the <gasps> girl he secretly likes. <laughs> oh, so on second huh? thought, milkshakes are on me. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> hey, say, where'd you get that cool hat? <sighs> this is a sterile workplace. If one of your loops of fruit contaminates my motherboard, everything will be ruined, and I'll have to start over again. Look, I even put a line on the floor so people know to keep out. Hey, Ben, I forget. Which side of the line am I supposed to be on? <laughs> ah, the other side. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <sighs> I'm pretty sick. And 100% germ-free. Yeah, and no Hank in sight. Hey, where is Hank, anyways? I quarantined him in a secure location. I think you know what I usually do in here. Practice my funny faces in the mirror. But Ben says I gotta stay here until I get better. It's okay, though. <laughs> At least I have a TV. Wait a minute. So you just stuck Hank in the bathroom? Uh -huh. But he already sneezed everywhere. How do you know his nasty sneeze germs are gone? This is how. My new GPS app, the Germ Positioning System. It locates every germ in a given area so I can destroy them. Huh, it says there's one left. What? Impossible! It can't be! <laughs> <laughs> Newton's apple, I missed it! Ben, this is crazy sauce. It's just one little germ. I can't get a beat on it. Oh, dude, you're not gonna get it. It's too small. Correction, Tom. It was too small. <gasps> hey, it worked! Hi, everyone! I'm Jeremy! 
Jeremy! Dang Jerem! <gasps> Jeremy! Stop! Ooh, stay there! Oh. Hold still oh, so I can hear you! Oh, please don't! Ben, stop! Yeah, don't hurt him. He's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm cute. Put it there. Ew, I'm not touching you. You're a giant infectious bacteria. Nobody touch it! Its only purpose is to make us sick. We have to kill it. But we can't kill him now. We know his name. Yeah, Jeremy. You're soft, Tom. Just don't infect anyone. And stay away from my stuff. Pretty much the same rules as Tom. Got it? Roger that, friendo. I promise none of you will end up like Hank. Oh, uh, okay, Jeremy. Now Ben needs to work, so let's get out of his way. Yeah, let's hang out and get to know each other, huh? Wow, that sounds like fun. I love to make new friends. Wait a minute. Hey, Jeremy, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, pal. You mentioned Hank, but no one else did, which means you must have been in contact with him before. Yeah, so? You're the germ that got Hank sick, aren't you? Very good, Ben. Very good. You figured out that a germ got someone sick. Oh, no! I certainly hope you haven't caught on to my plan to infect everyone else! <sighs> including you, Ben! You can try to warn them, but they won't believe you! I'm cute, remember? And you're a nut! Huh? Stop! Hey, guys! Stop, wait stop, up! Stop, I was stop, just stop. thanking my new friend, Ben, for not crushing me! <laughs> I don't know where I've been. I know not to where I'll zoom. The only thing that I know now is it's just me and this bathroom. Da -da -da. <gasps> Guys, we have to get rid of Jeremy. I'm serious. He wants to infect us all. That little fella? <laughs> Come on, Ben. <laughs> <gasps> Look, you have to listen to me. Whatever you do, no matter the circumstances, do not eat those sandwiches! Yeah. No, 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 no. I hope you guys like them. Oh. It's my grandma's special mm. recipe. But I added my own mm. personal mm. touch. <gasps> this is so good, you guys. Oh, Jeremy, mm. you're the best. Yum. I am so glad Ben didn't kill you before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, water under the bridge. It was in the heat of the moment. Before you all knew how great I was. But we're all friends now. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's go play the pinball machine. What? We don't have a pinball machine. We do now. Jeremy got us one. What a great group. I forgot your sandwich on purpose, Ben. But feel free to eat the leftovers. <laughs> <sighs> I've got to get the others to see the truth about Jeremy before he gets all of them sick. But how? He's so smooth. Well, if he won't slip up, I'll just have to slip him up. I'm gonna frame him. I love you, Shampoo! Where have you been all my life, conditioner? Boy, he is silky smooth. Oh, that reminds me, I have to wash my hair. Now for the icing on the germ cake. <laughs> Guys, you've got to come see this. And look at that. Look at that. That's my favorite wall. It says germs rule. The only germ here is Jeremy. So logically, he is the culprit. That is ridiculous. Jeremy was with us all afternoon singing karaoke. There is no way it could have been him. <laughs> we don't have a karaoke machine. We do now. One. Where does he get all this money? And look at how much fun we're having. See? He was with us, Ben. So stop trying to get us not to like Jeremy. That is mega lame. Come on, let's go chill in the ball pit. <laughs> ball pit? Can't you see what he's doing? A ball pit is the most unsanitary play area known to science! Give it up, Ben. They'll never believe you. I've completely stolen your friends. And pretty soon, they'll all be sick. And then we'll see who the real Jerome is. 
tell you. Ta-ta, Ben. Oops. <laughs> and that makes the uh, 6,465 lines. Or was that 4,656? Do over. One, two. Well, my closest friends all love Jeremy. And if he's their friend, well, I guess that I'll just have to find a way to get along with him, too. <sighs> That's not gonna be easy. Oh, we got one of these no good. This is no good. This is garbage. This is trash. This is good in the mouth. An orange. Vitamin C, you later. <laughs> uh, um. Well, hello, Ben. Hey, Jeremy. Look, I tried to frame you for making that mess. It was wrong. I apologize. It was, and you do. <laughs> it's a classic tale of Jerem beats poison. What say we shake on it, friendo? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> are you wearing a glove? I guess you could say I'm a germaphobe. Hey! Who are you bringing the visit to us? He looks strangely familiar. Guys, Ben is giving out swirlies. That's Ben. What, Ben, what just happened? Where's Jeremy? What did you do to him? <sighs> Relax, Tom. He's in a better place now. <gasps> you killed him? What? No! I flushed him down the toilet, which leads to the sewer. It's an ideal habitat for a germ. He'll have plenty of friends down there. No, Jeremy! Now who's gonna chew my gum for me? He was only trying to get you sick. And chew your own gum! Ben you don't get to decide who we can be friends with and who gets flushed down the toilet. Yeah, that's right. And another thing. Gazunite. <laughs> you guys, I don't feel so good. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming three. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we let Jeremy fool us like that. We're so stupid. <laughs> I know. I have never taken an open face mystery sandwich from a talking bacteria ever again. Sorry we didn't believe you, Ben. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All that matters is that you learned your lesson. And send all the bad germs to the sewer where they belong. Those fools! They think putting me down here will get rid of me? Well, let them. I'll be back one day. 